Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again, starting off with the Isaacle, and we are going to jump in and start off with, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe an item I just like. Let's just go with, like, Fruitcake. I like Fruitcake a lot. Let's just start off with Fruitcake. And that has told us very little, apart from the fact that it's Afterbirth. That's actually a pretty, a pretty big boon to our success here. So we're going to go and, um... Select every quality apart from two, which I still can't believe Fruitcake's quality two. Um, and we know it's not a passive item. We know it's from Afterbirth, which is... This makes things a lot easier. We know it contains brown, green, or red. Um, and we know it's got tears and something else. So we've got actually quite a lot to go on here. And we know it's an active item as well. Okay. So active items that affect tears is our first thing here. So Afterbirth is the release... <coughs> active item that affects tears. Um, that contains brown, green, or red. This might actually, we might be able to get this in two, you know. There's, there's a chance. There's a chance. Okay, so, active items. That affects tears, but that's not ground, green, or, green or red. Um, not, doesn't affect tears. Does affect tears, but not ground, green, or, brown, green, or red. I'm going to say that wrong a bunch of times. Um, active item, doesn't affect tears. What the hell could it be? Brown, I mean, this contains red, so it might be Mega Blast. It might be Mega Blast. Just make sure I've got the quality settings right. Everything apart from quality two, yeah. Okay, it's not in the item room, so that 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 gets rid of a few. So let's let's just go over this again. Let's be careful. So diplopia can't be diplopia, can't be wooden nickel, can't be glass cannon, can't be box of friends. It can't be friendly ball. I don't think that's definitely not tears. I'd say can't be tier detonator. Um, can't be D twelve. Du, 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 du. Can't be ventricle razor. Can't be golden teleporter. Can't be glowing hourglass. Can't be Minecrafter. I think it's Mega Blast. No way! Got it in two! Holy shit! I got it in two! Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Oh my god. Okay, so I was like, oh, didn't give me much. But the fact that it gave me, I mean, just giving, getting Afterbirth off the bat is pretty amazing. But getting, knowing it was Tears was pretty big. Knowing what colours it contained, at least one of them, huge. Absolutely huge. That's the first one I've ever gotten to. I'm very happy about that. That's, that's amazing. I feel very good about myself with that one. Hell yes. Hell yes. Oh my god. Right off the bat. I love that. What a great start to an episode. Absolutely love it. And we can jump in with some Isaac now. Isaac, are you okay? Are you okay? There you go. Right, let's jump in with our streak. Um, one second. Okay, we are good to go. And we are doing Tainted Isaac for our 36th win. Okay. Definitely a little bit of a trickier one, but he normally is pretty good. We just got to remember the mechanics of this character and not forget them. But oh my god, I am I am on an absolute high right now. Getting it in two, I mean, just, I think getting an Afterbirth item, it, obviously, Afterbirth doesn't have a lot of items in its DLC, so it gives you so much more, like, chance of being right. Uh, but, oh man, Be being that it was an active item... Being that we knew it was tears, there is literally only two active items, I think, that affect tears from Afterbirth. It being that and tier detonator. I, I guess you could maybe class glass cannon um, as a tier altering one as well. Uh, but yeah, it, it that just gives us a hell of a lot of leeway. Also, rainbow poop here, potentially useful. I don't really know what for yet, but I'll, uh, I'll keep it in mind in case I need it. Okay, ooh, reflected bomb. I will come back for that. I don't think I'll take that right now. Okay, yeah. This is why I'm, I'm happy that we've got the rainbow poop here, because uh, 
I'm gonna take some stupid damage in a rooms like this. Honestly, rooms like this are really annoying because um because of those enemies that bounce off the walls. With a thin room like this, it's gonna it's gonna happen a good few times. Okay. Let's uh let's trips back first. I do have some more bombs now to open up uh this bad boy. Could be pretty lucrative. Unfortunately, it was just a spider. Um and the chest itself gave us one penny. So <laughs> not not all that great. Not all that great. As for the question of the day today, um if you could do something today, right now, what would you want to do? If you if you could go and do something that may be out of the ordinary for you, what would it be? Petrified poop. Nice. A little late, unfortunately, but we'll be good. Ooh. Very good with the, uh, the axe. Thank you. We'll see if we can buy a soul heart here. Indeed, we can. We will buy a soul heart. Really should have gone into my cash room before doing that. That was uh, a bit stupid, but what's done is done. Oh, I've, I've bungled this to the nth degree. I should have got this first. Oh, this was... This was sh appalling behavior. Appalling behavior. How... How dare I? Okay. Crook of the L is most likely where we're looking for this. No, really? It's not? I will find secret room here. There's just multiple places it could be, so it can't be here. Could be here, although... Not super, super likely. I can't believe how much I bungled that. That was very, very silly of me. It could be here. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not super happy about that, but it was. It was surprised. I will take a pill. It's a range down. I don't really care too much about a range down, to be honest. Bit of extra change. Thank you. Oh man, could have gone to my cash room and everything. That was. That was a very, very silly play. I missed out on a lot of potential value there because of uh, me being a bit too bit too hasty. Don't know why I checked that. That clearly wasn't second secret room. Okay, let's let's try playing a little bit better because at the minute I'm playing pretty poorly and it's uh it's not it's not 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 good at all. Right, we don't want to destroy any of these poops until after the room because they won't be able to drop anything until we leave and re-enter. Um, at least I don't think they will be able to, especially the ones generated by the actual boss. But yeah, very, very disappointed with my play this floor. I have missed out on a curse room easily. Um, I missed out on some bombs I could have had, and I missed out on a second secret room, potentially. So, all in all, not, not very good. I'm very happy we've got this axe, though. The axe is very nice. Right. We will grab... Um, I think we'll just grab the HP up, honestly. It's a little more boring, but it's safer. And we are one penny off. What was in our shop? Was there anything actually of value in our shop? Let's take a little look around. Let's take a little look around. I think there was a few other poops we could destroy here for the potential penny. Was, it, there was one. <laughs> there was one. Right. Just see if there's anything of value first. Might not be worth worrying about. We got placard. Placard's actually pretty good. Um, places a handicap placard on the ground. Every enemy inside is weakened and spawns burn spares on death. I think that's pretty useful. Uh, we'll see if we can garner an extra penny. I don't actually know where we'd get an extra penny from. I guess I could bomb him and hope for the best. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Oh, God damn it. Waste of resources. It is what it is. I could go into my cash room, I guess. Uh, was there anything else in here I could take advantage of? No. Unfortunate. We'll uh, we'll just save our money. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I was gonna buy the sack, but honestly, I'm just gonna leave it and hope for the best. Not a great first floor. A good item, and we got some HP up, which is nice. But I I truly misplayed a lot of this floor. There's 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 a lot of potential value that I've been taking advantage of in previous runs that I really didn't take advantage of there. So that wasn't great. We did get a key off the bat, though, which is huge. And we got a penny, too. So our shop is now of significant value. But yeah, people liking the Isaacle to start, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's just a nice sort of brain teaser to uh, to start us off. And it makes me feel good when I uh, when I get it right like that. <laughs> that was a particularly good one, obviously. We got it very right there. It was a particularly very good one, but still. I like the way the axe just kind of does its own thing and just goes after the enemy that's the, the, it the thinks is best, if it, even if it's over rocks. Or even like that if it's out of range. I think it's good that it just... it tries. 
Having petrified poopy is very, very nice. Uh, we're, on a, we're on some poopy floors right now. Scaling damage. We'll come back for the rest of these poops. Take advantage of the damage while we've got it. Extra soul heart there is very, very nice. That makes me feel a lot better about my previous errors. Oh, dude, we are we are in a very good spot for, uh, for potential money gain here. Okay, I really need to get rid of the snake boy first, because he's making my movements a little more difficult. Oh, come on, guys. Why you gotta be dicks? Okay, good. Yeah, this is good stuff, being able to destroy all these poops to get a bunch of money. Shop-wise, what we got going on in here? Um, I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. Um, starter deck's kind of interesting. But I think we want to go for, um, B C1 equals boss item, C2. Okay, so I think we want to take C2, so that's not next floor, the floor after. Not next floor, the floor after. Got a luck penny there as well, lovely. Uh, luminary flares, very good. Uh, the Curse Candle's also pretty good. But I think I'm going to take the Flare. Just because I've already got an active item I like. Give me a sec. Perthra. Very, very nice. But yeah, the Flare's very good. I'm, I'm just going to go quickly check out what the hell this thing is. What the hell this, like, Amber Chunk is. It is literally a chunk of Amber. Uh, let me just drop it and see what's what. Petrified Poop. All pickups in the room, including items and the final chest at the end of the game, will be removed and saved. The previous items you consume in this way will respawn evenly um, across games you will... What the fuck? All pickups in the room, including items in the final chest at the end of the game, will be removed and saved. The previous items you consumed in this way will respawn even across games you will also receive a lucky penny. So, for now, I just want the Lucky Penny. <laughs> that mechanic seems interesting, but I'm not going to mess around with that right now. I'm just going to take the look, uh, Lucky Penny and uh, be on my way. Because that confuses me. <laughs> I kind of get it, I think. Go Luminary Flare. I, don't I still don't really get the logic of Luminary Flares to when it actually activates. That's still a mystery to me. Because um, it, it kind of activates at random angles and seemingly random times. But... As you saw, it sets enemies on fire that are in the middle of the room, which is actually huge. There's good damage, and yeah, setting enemies on fire is rather nice. Right, having a pair thrower here is really nice too. I'm not going to go devil deal, I don't think. I think I'm going to stick to the angel deal. Yeah, flare, flare is a big damage increase. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> like, look at that. Just literally, the boss spawns on fire. And the flare will eventually start actually going off and firing at him. But if the, the, this guy doesn't even jump, so the longer he sits there, the longer he keeps getting set on fire. It's pretty beautiful. Unfortunately, this guy not jumping but does make him a little more difficult. He does do the little hibbity hops, but not the proper jumps. Flare, come on. You know you can, uh, you can fire a few shots off on him. He's quite big and fires big shots. I think he only has half heart damage though so far, so that's good at least. Right, there you go, we got him. Boss items, we've got magic scab. I think I'll take the magic scab, thank you. And then I'm going to go back real quick here because we had some poops we didn't grab and some pennies we didn't grab either. I think they're worth going for. And right now, the good thing is we have a lot of items that are, uh, that are tradable, which is good. Okay, cool. We got a few poops here and an extra penny. And I will check out the arcade, even though I don't have any bombs. Just in case there's anything amazing in here. Unfortunately, not really. Um, okay. Let's be on our way. We've got a pair throw rune to see what we want to do uh, with. I've not really got a plan for it yet, but if we get, like, a double item that's just trash in our next floor, we, we can reroll. Or, probably more importantly... When we actually finally trade away our HP upgrades, we can um, we can re-roll them into something else. And I feel like that's probably a good idea. 
Uh, remember that we're not opening the, uh, the, the Pandora's box this floor, it's next floor. We open on the next floor. A hey, key off the bat is very nice. Yeah, I really like just having enemies that start in the middle of the room in a pretty wide radius just start on fire. I feel, I feel like that's pretty valuable. Petrified poop is still the way to go for these floors that still have poops. We're getting quite a lot of money out of it. Petrified poop is just a very, very strong trinket early game for uh, money and potential HP as well. The red hearts are really nice. Even though we are on soul heart health at the minute, it's still helpful. Only thing about the flare is obviously stuff can spawn like underneath it and kind of hide. I think I think it's supposed to overlay on top, but sometimes it doesn't. Like that, it overlays on top there, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Uh, that might just be a bug from from the older versions that's been sorted out, and it might be fine now. You got the little carrot fellas here, still one of the weirdest enemies in Fiendfolia. <laughs> okay, we've almost got enough to make the shop work as well. Oh, dude, all of you guys got set on fire there. The other head thrower kinds. Be very careful with the head throws because the explosion radius on them is bigger than the uh, the creep would would make you think. We got one guy up here, right? Yes. Oh god, that was a pretty good shot, my guy. A pretty good shot. We good? Uh, we got two bombs behind some uh, rocks somewhere. Oh no, the 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 flight oriented. Okay. We would need flight to get those. We do not have flight as of yet. I'm looking for another key at the moment as well because. I'd very much like to. I know there's keys there. I'd very much like to be able to go into our um, into our shop as well at this stage. Good. Now this room's kind of interesting because you're gonna path your way directly through my guy here. Yeah, <laughs> and set yourself on fire. Good for you, sir. And these guys are a little annoying, but not so hard to deal with. I think the more enemies in the room. Or the more movements they make, the more the luminary flare goes off. Because sometimes it goes crazy. Sometimes it's just non-stop. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. I kind of wasn't expecting that guy to uh, to jump so far. Can you get all these little fucking spiders off me, please? Thank you. Uh, there's another key for our shop if we uh, get the extra penny we're looking for. These are head throwers again, aren't they? Yep. They can yeet. They can absolutely yurt that head as well. Like, it goes way further than you'd think if you uh, try and run away. You do have to kind of predict where it's about to land. Okay, item room. Please, oh please, have something glorious for us. I'm a little a little confused on where uh, secret room is right now. I've seen a few different spots it can be. But we don't have a bomb, so we do currently don't really have to worry about that. There's another key. Keys are looking very nice now. Okay, luckily you're just spewing out... Sp <laughs> he spewed out two spiders and both of them instantly died. Another pill here, I'll take it. HP up, range down. Our range is pretty bad, but HP is looking great. Bag of crafting. Okay, bag of crafting's probably worth it at this point. Um, so I think we, I think we pop our box and see what we get. This is tricky. Lost Souls good. Foul gut is also very good. Gives us a lot of HP to work with and a lot of damage, but it's also risky. Um, I think I'm gonna take foul gut. Just because I can trade it away. And then, yeah, we'll take Bag of Crafting here. Because I think Bag of Crafting just is just very good. Um, we can do a lot with Bag of Crafting. Also, your Contraband. What Contraband are you? Ooh, okay, that's 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 kind of good. I didn't really think about the fact that it would uh, trade into another item. But that's nice. Okay, good stuff. We, we, we do have to be careful because we've got all Rotten Hearts. That does cause some issues. I think this might be Secret Room here. It's not. Okay. Right, um, so in this scenario, snatch up all of those bad boys. Can we reach the, um, can we reach the bombs over here? Not quite, unfortunately, not quite. Okay, um, where else was I thinking secret room could be? I, I, there was another place that I thought was pretty obvious. I'm pretty sure it's above here. Should need to check this out. Yeah, there you go. Hearts. It's the scary hearts as well. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and. Wait, is it F3? It says F3. Not. Oh, uh, maybe I need to have actually something on the floor. Oh, dude, come on now. Don't, don't, don't keep that on my screen every time. Do I need to like draw? I don't, I don't know how to. 
I don't know how to best use this thing. Um, I'm going to check in here just in case. We got a soul heart. We got broken stopwatch. We got whatever this is. Oh, please go away. I, I, I can't get the goddamn ba bag of crafting thing. I'm pressing F3. It's not doing anything. Go away. I don't want you. I'm just going to buy the soul heart for now. I'll buy this as well. And then... Yeah, I'll, I'll take this as well, and then I can go into the thingy room. Yeah, it's just going to stay there the entire run, right? Okay, something I'm going to do right now is, let's go, is it Dead Sea Scrolls menu? Is it C? Um, no, is it L? L. EID. Let's have a look. General. Toggle keyboard, F2. Okay. Um... Max distance. Okay, that's not. That's not what I'm looking for. Display. Description refresh rate. Trying to look for basically making the size smaller. Visuals. Text size. That's probably better. Default. Put small on that. Okay. That's better at least. That's better at least. People have suggested this to me a while back and I've just never done it. And hopefully that's a bit more agreeable to you guys. It's a lesson the way. Okay, let's crack both of these open. Uh, golden key I think we can take into our bag. The bomb I want. Fucking path road. I pressed Q because I'm so used to bag of crafting being on Q. So that was a waste of my path road. Very much my bad. Um... I'm so used to bagger crafting being on Q, it's stupid of me. Oh, look at all those flies, baby. Look at all those flies. Look at them go. You're not tossing your head at no one, boys. Right. Give me that. Give me that. And. Okay, it doesn't rotate, which is annoying because pair throw would be perfect right now. Okay, anyways, let's keep it going. Pair throw would have been great there. Very much my bad. Right, anyways. Let's skibbity hop to it. I very much need a range increase at some point, because my range is abysmal at the moment. It's not, like, game-endingly bad, but it's, it's not great. Got those rocket bombs, why not use them? Oh, really? I didn't realize there was a red poop there. My bad. Yes. Go through the fire and the flame, you fool. You fool. Okay, good. The axe is doing our work for us right now. And boss-wise, we've got... Still don't know. I, I, why Why does the bag of crafting... Why, why won't it go away? I don't care. Like, one second. Let me pause. Right, I fixed it. I fixed it. So we've got super bandage there, which obviously isn't of a lot of use to us. Or we've got a damage up. We'll take the damage up. Um, good, good, good. Right, next floor. Next floor. Okay. Yeah, bag of crafting is definitely an interesting one for us here. Because we can rotate our items out quite a lot. Having all these flies is... Very nice for room clearing. We are one off another item. Like I said, the items don't rotate though, so the items just are what they are. We might not get some we might not always get good stuff. Mum's eyelashes. Well that's a, a tier four item. A lot of range down. Damage down and Isaac shoots a bunch of tears at once. That could be I, I that would put me down to one range. 
I really want it, but that will put me down to one range. Let's hold off for now, shall we? That's one of those. Yeah, I don't think we want to be down at one range in any capacity. Because that... It's all... The range is already quite bad right now. Having five shots with one range, I think, would be somewhat run-ending. If I can get a range up this floor, then I'll take it. Oh, really? A sticky nickel that disappeared? That's just... That's just harsh. <laughs> And then we've got this, which I think we can just take and then use. No, we can't, because it's broken right now. Something wicked? Little... Couple of fixes needed with something wicked here. Um, there's there's a few items that just don't work right now. Recent updates seem to have... Uh, seems to have broken a few of them. Dude. We're getting a lot of pennies right now. But yeah, very annoyed that Bag of Crafting is so incessant and giving me active items. It's, it's a bit annoying. I don't need active items when I'm using the Bag of Crafting as an active item. So, like, pointless. Stop. Got them at stop. Why does that, that fucking Mum's Eyelash have to be a minus 3 range? 3.5 range. Also, this curse is deleting so many of my uh, potential items here. <laughs> Quickly go in here and check for... Okay, I wasn't expecting a bunch of money, but I'll take it. What the fuck hit me then? We got a dreidel, which I think is also an active item. Yes, it is. God damn it. Um, yeah, at this point I'll take that. Why not? Okay. Just keep this trainer rolling. I'm not best pleased with a few things at the moment, but it's not much I can do about it. I'm very pleased with the amount of flies we have. That's uh that's something that's quite fun. And we've got a bomb we'll take into here. And we get bunch of extra bombs. And then... Suck all these back up again. So many potential items. Another burn heart. Lovely. I don't care about no pennies. Just picking them all up. God damn it, pair thrower. Why did I have to use you by accident? You bastard. I never remember how good this heart puncture item is. Heart rupture. Um, I guess it's better than steam sale right now, because we're not going to get much use out of steam sale. Probably should have taken those keys rather than doing that, but oh well. Um, and then that I'll trade for this. Not bad, not bad. Arcade, what do you hold for me? See, now we could really use a rainbow poop. <laughs> right about now we could really use a rainbow poop. That would be uh, pretty excellent. Dude, I really want to take that. I really want to take it. But I just, I feel like it will absolutely destroy my run if I'm at one range. Wait, we have a rainbow poop. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, so, first of all, let's come in here and play this. I, I'll, be, I'll be losing some, some rotten hearts here, I realise. But I think maybe getting a payout from this is worth it. Man. Man. I gambled so hard and those things are such dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gambled so hard on that. I traded away all my rotten hearts for that. Oh, man. Oh, 
come on. I don't know what to do. I'm so torn. I really want to take the item. Isaac fires five tears. Sounds amazing. Also, I have to go through. I was like, I'm not going to do this room. I have to. Ah, but the challenge still persists. That's that's kind of annoying. Right, away we go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, I, th I should probably go play the Blood Bank a bit more. I I've got I've got enough Red Heart HP. <laughs> I want that so bad. I also want to play this, but. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it'll break my burn heart or not. Okay, no, it takes red hearts first. Good. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Right. Let's grab that. Let's moon card it. See where this see what this gives us. I'm gonna pop this. Chasey heart, please. Thank you. Right. In the crook of the L again, as always. Right, back we go. <laughs> Item. I love you. It's not even a tears down, it's just a damage down. It's it would be a real gamble to take it right now, but I, I I'm so tempted to, to take that gamble. Right, what what exactly do we have over there? We have some soul hearts, don't we? Okay, we got Coconut Milk, which is Damage Multiplier. Isaac's shot speed and tears will never fall. Instead, they rely on the range strat to determine how long they live for. Oh, God. I, I mean, I can take it and put it down, so... I guess I can take the eyelash and put it down, so I should try it. Right. Oh. They seem to live for a very, very long time. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Take the eyelash of uh, the bridge bombs. Okay, I think that item just saved the day. The coconut milk. If I if I get rid of coconut milk now, <laughs> yeah, coconut milk just absolutely saved the day. Holy shit! <laughs> My goodness, how, like, this is why we min-max, baby. This is why we min-max. Holy hell. Anyways, we can, uh, suck both of these up and see what item we get. Wait, what? <laughs> glass eye again? I will take another glass eye for more damage, thank you, yes. And more luck. Yeah, coconut just saved the absolute day. Made this item that fires five tiers a lot, lot better and a lot more viable. God damn. I tried to use a magician card there and just used the wrong thing, but I don't think we need it at this point. Beautiful. This run's uh, really come a long way. We've got two glass eyes. Uh, tears up is pretty nice here. Um, probably take it over the heart rupture for now, I think, because the heart rupture I just don't really see much value in. It's a decent tears up. And then in here, we got Trisaki. We've got Genesis. Genesis is interesting, but I think Trisagian is more my style. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the player. I think that's going to be the player. Right. Away we go. We can uh, suck that up. And down we go. Wow, this this is crazy. This, this, this run really took a turn. This run really took a turn. It's beautiful. We can keep her going, and we have the five tiers with pretty good range now. With with only one range stat. I don't know what if the coconut milk thing is broken, or if if the the equation is the lower your range, the longer they last. Alpha Penny. Give us one of these bad boys. Good because it can give you all stats up, so I'm gonna. Because I'm on low money, I don't care. 
yeah, might as well try it and try and get the uh, additional stuff out of it. But yeah, this, this should be pretty good. I'll take that as a black heart or red heart, whatever it morphs itself into. My bad on that one. We do have an um, a eternal heart thing here, one of the repairing hearts, so we should be good on that front for a little bit. Ball tumors. I uh, have a small chance we tend to collectible tumors. Collectible tumors uh, power a tumor orbital, which block shots deal contact damage. With enough tumors, a second orbital will be spawned. Eh, I don't really think that's super good for us right now. But yeah, bag of crafting just constantly allows us to be getting new items to refresh what we're doing, which is nice. Key, please. Yes, thank you. Boom, bow. Boom, bow. One more player. Just getting enough to spawn an item. <laughs> blue map is pretty good. I like blue map a lot. I don't know what to trade it for, though, is the only thing. I've got some good stuff here. Yeah, I guess. I think blue map's better. Enough to find all of our secret rooms could lead to more items, more HP, all that good stuff. Ugh. One of these disgusting rooms. I'm having a joyous time here. I mean, now I've got this little fucker, this little ghost guy spewing tears all over where I need to be going. Wow! That was a lot of fun. I love it pushing them back. Right. Item room, what do you hold for us? Ghost baby or... Ooh, that could be good. We don't need, we don't need tear accuracy. So... Let's see. So, tiers wise, we're on two point. Okay, that's yeah, that's a huge boon. We don't need tier accuracy at all, so that's that's great. That literally puts us straight to the cap. Grab one of those little pennies. That's very good too. I think we'll take that over. Um, I don't know what we'll take that over, to be honest. This is getting this is getting tricky. This is getting tricky. What does our damage go, go down to if I take this? 3.12. Okay, we don't lose that much damage, so I think I'll take that. I know we lose some luck, but... And we got Clutch's Curse, and then that there. Another Pandora's box. Unfortunately, a bunch of stuff we don't really need there. So I guess we'll just look at a bunch of soul hearts. Right. What does the actual mark end? After 10 seconds being, of being in a non-special room, the doors will open. You deal 7 times damage to monsters. That's kind of interesting. I don't think we need it, though. Clutch's Curse is also kind of meh. I think we're pretty much ready to go on this floor, to be honest. But I'll 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 have a little another scoot around and see. Another key there, thank you. We're dealing good enough damage at the minute. I think the next thing to go would be either the flare or the um another just gloriously fun room. Either the flare or the axe, because both of those are good, but they're not, like, doing what we need them to. Dude, can you just... Thank you. Thank you. I, was, I thought that was going to miss them. All that to get to this room. That was fucking useless. Oh, we didn't check in here. Yes, it's worthwhile for the potential of another item. I guess we don't even need the items because we're paying us this Isaac, but just more chance at good items. We've already gotten the eyelash thing out of it, which is really good. Molten's like, that's that's a great item for us. Oh, 
Okay, Molten Slag, what should I take? Maybe Blue Map, to be honest. Blue Map's good, but it's just, like, not damage, so... Epiphora. I don't really think Epiphora is that good for us here. Oh, wait. <laughs> the fires have really, really low range. I didn't realize they were affected by your range stats, so this might not actually be that good. I'll keep it in case we get some range ups along the way. I, I really don't know what that would come in the form of, though, because it would have to be, like, pills. Anyhow, let's go and do the boss. We've left a lot of items on this floor. Imagine how crazy this run would be if we weren't playing as Tainted Isaac. My god, we'd have so much going on for us right now. <laughs> But yeah, we got like these these short range sort of shotgun fires. It does fire five of them though. Yeah, I don't I don't think I lost my good heart as well. I don't think it's really worth for us, is it? Shampoo bottle. Does that actually give us tears? It doesn't, okay. Right, away we go. Oh, where we go? Yeah, I think the fires are, are the next on the chopping block, really. Even though I, I love molten slag as an item, it just does—it's not doing anything for us right now. Don't think it makes much sense to keep it around. Right. Oh God, you're speedy. You are good old speedy boy. I don't think that does anything for us. Yeah, we're in a spot now where we're doing we're doing pretty good damage. We've got piercing and all that going on, so I'm happy. I think what I'll do is I'll come over here and uh, bomb this just to put a card in my sack because we're uh, we're way over time at the minute, <laughs> way over time. Yeah, I'm just I'm just expecting there's at least one or two items that could be better. There's still one or two items we could get that could be better. Trinket. Probably better now. Um, no, it doesn't do anything for us right now. But I guess going to say we're probably better off trading our trinket now. We're about ready. Ooh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Splits pedestal items in the item room into two pedestals of one less quality. Quality zero items are split into random pickups. Okay, very intriguing to me. I'm gonna do I'm I'm gonna do some stuff first that I wanna I basically I wanna see how this works. So let's let's create some items here. Let's play out this floor. I've got some ideas. So boom, boom. And this'll be our item room. Oh ho 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 no 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 no. This is very, very strong. <laughs> Basically, you gain fire rate, um, you gain fire rate, like, basically, if your tier hits an enemy, you can automatically fire another tier, but the, this item doesn't account for if you have fire multiple tiers at once, meaning that if you fire multiple tiers at once, you can just fire, like, with infinite fire rate. So, we, we literally can, we can get rid of all of our fire rate based items now, we don't need any of them. Dude, stop giving me trinkets. I need, like, pennies and stuff. Okay. But yeah, all fire rate-based items can, can go out the window. Now, we only have one fire rate-based item, so it's not like we're getting rid of a lot. Room's laid out in an annoying way. Come on, Gam. Get Gam. Game. Where's my pennies? And so forth. Right. Another item. Good. Got two items there I just don't care about. Okay, back over here. Another item to create. So I think if I get rid of blue waffle for this. So you can see my fire rate's gone down significantly, but when I fire at enemies, it'll be it'll look like it's I'm, I've got full fire rate. Although that's it's not really happening the way I thought it would. I 
I can't split up. I've got to just take it. Would have thought I'd be firing faster than that. Maybe it doesn't work with Trisagian or something? I don't know. Damn it. Right. Last bit of wandering around. I think I might have to take a uh, blue waffle back because it's not working the way I thought it would. Or maybe, maybe I just take... Get rid of Eve's nail polish altogether. I thought it was going to be really good for us. Unfortunately, it wasn't. That is a bit of a shame. Right. I need one more item to pick up. I guess I could use my card if I'm at a push. I'd rather not. Rather not. I think I'm going to have to use my card, aren't I? Oh, I could bomb this guy. There you go, baby. Right. Then we come back over here. Back over this way. And we put that down. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually trade out this for that. Because that's gonna give us better yield us better items. Right now, I come back into my secret room. Do you know what I'm just gonna bomb through to make this a quicker process than walking all the way around again? So bomb through to here. Then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab this. Then I'm gonna split all of these. And this was my hope. This was exactly what I was hoping. That they'd all split and then go between two items. So let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So we've got touching enemy charms it, which I, I I do not see how touching enemy charms it is quality three. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Unless it doesn't deal contact damage, I do not see how that is even remotely the case. So rubber cement is a is a good item here, so we'll take rubber cement. Um Friendly sack I quite like. But I don't think any of these really do much for us. And I can take this just for the bombs. Um, Yeah, not, the rest of these don't really do anything for me. So that, it's kind of worked, but not really. I was kind of hoping that would be a bit of a bigger, bigger play there. Kind of wasn't. We got rubber cement though. I like that. I think we're just gonna leave it. Um, I think I'm gonna take this trinket. Low shot speed on this. This is good. And we're gonna leave all those items there. Again, imagine what this run would look like. Imagine what this run would look like if we weren't playing this character. My God. Yeah. You've been, you've been smacked about there. You've been smacked about. And we have more good stuff here. So Pride Pin, of course, really, really good. Um, I think we're going to get rid of the Flare at this point. But also, this is just like infinite HP. But I don't think we need that. I think we're going to take the, yeah, the Pride Pin here. Or should I get rid of the Axe? I think I'm going to get rid of the Axe, you know. I think Luminary Flare is just more fun than the Axes. He's a he's a cute buddy. He's a he's a friend. Anything more that we can get in here actually? No. Okay. Let's go. Bit of a weird flaw there. Bit of a strange one. This is a this is a long run. We've been messing around for quite some time. Unfortunately this run is a bit laggy, but there's not really much we can do about that. What the fuck hit me then? Um Oh, it's fucking pride pin. Fuck's sake! There's there's one of the one of the tear effects from Pride Pin that fires these little jets of fire streams, and they can hurt you for some reason, and it's it's very very frustrating. So every now and again we are gonna get hurt by that. I don't even know what my health is now because I, I think I got hit three times by that. Like most of the time, obviously Pride Pin is very good, but sometimes it screws you. Soul of Lurth is amazing because it's just a bonus onto what we have. And it gives us one of the worst fucking familiars ever. Thank you for that. One of the only familiars that can deal damage to me constantly. Thanks. What a what a treat. Such a service you've done me. Okay. 
We're at four keys now, good. We can start sucking them up. We only need four. Not secret room, okay. Keep her moving, keep her moving. This could be secret room as well, actually. There you go. We got some milk. Don't think we need milk. Milk's a pretty bad item. Oh god! That guy is chasing me at high speeds. I didn't really know that he did that, I'll be honest. Okay, let's be careful because we have taken a lot of dumb damage here. What the fuck is going on with my tears? Okay, Pride Pin is confusing the shit out of me right now. Really got to be more careful, because at the minute I'm shitting the bed heavily. It's always so offensive when you use that and it doesn't give you a single fucking tinted rock. I'm not doing as much damage as I'd have hoped, really. I know he's going to blow up on one of these fucking... Yeah, there you go. And I got hurt by my own fire again. Okay, I might have to call... Uh... A truce on, well, not a truce, but a cheating allowance on giving myself some health back for this bullshit. Because it clearly isn't meant to be able to hurt you. That's just silly. Can you die already? What the f can, can I not hit this guy? bit annoyed, I'll be honest. I'm a bit annoyed. This floor has not gone well at all. We gained a familiar that I fucking hate. <laughs> We've taken some dumb damage from our tier effects that we shouldn't be taking. It's just, it's just, and I don't know what my health is. It's all gone awry. Oh god, the teeth shots are, uh, maybe Pride Pin wasn't a good choice. <laughs> Pride Pin seems to be, uh, bugging out. I'll take the Vorse Papers for the uh, Burn Heart. Thank you. Right, I think, I think I'm still on good HP, but I'm not sure. I'm still on full HP somehow. Okay, maybe those hits didn't actually count. I don't know what happened there. Oh right, luckily, Piercing will help us with those guys. We just create this, like, like, literal wall. Just weird, though. We're, I feel like we're just doing such low damage. I feel like with five shots of three damage each, it shouldn't be... Shouldn't feel as low as it currently feels. Like, I get that the damage is low, but we're firing five shots, for God's sake. It should feel better than this. I mean, at least we've got Smooth Stone, though. Smooth Stone means that we're doing a bunch of extra damage to bosses. Which alleviates a lot of pain. So these these are the fires. Don't get rid of my burn heart. I don't dare. I just gotta play it slow. I mean, we're already playing quite slow. We've gotta play it slower. We just gotta be careful. We have a lot of HP to work with. There's no reason we should lose this one. Just tainted eyes. It can be a bit of a bitch sometimes. A lot of choices to be made. A lot of thinking to be done. Wow! <laughs> Thanks for that. Good old shard of glass to keep us going. Gotta love it. Game really knows what I want in my time of need. But, yeah, I guess I'm, I, I'm complaining and belly aching about it, but my, my health is currently very good. <laughs> like, we're really not in a problem situation at all at the moment. I'm just basically making up drama. But, I, I've got to. I've, I've got to. I've got to make it seem like it's more difficult than it is. Because otherwise I'll play worse. If I make it up in my head to be more than it actually is, I'll play better. That's my that's my theory. If I believe it's more difficult, then I'll, I'll, I'll play more cautiously and I'll play better. What's going on with you? Why, why are you stuck in the corner there? Yeah. 
We'll get another quality four item eventually from our uh, crafting bag as well. Let's her. That is not a quality four. Interesting idea for a room here. God damn, the teeth shots are just uh, a little much, so to say. I think what's I think what's screwing us is the knockback. I think we're knocking enemies back with our shots and pushing them out of the way of our other shots. And so we're dealing less damage when that happens. Like, look how difficult it is to kill these guys. These little babies are uh, a pain. Like, is he going to spawn another one? Okay, no, hopefully he didn't. I thought he was going to manage to spawn another one before I managed to kill that guy then. Now, yeah, I think that's actually a big pain point for us. That we're just pushing enemies out of the way of our damage. We found the boss at least. Okay, at least this is wound two. For some reason, I thought it was wound one. Dude, getting the lasers there was amazing timing on Pride Pin. So that's why we like Pride Pin. And then here we've got, unfortunately, not much of value. Not much of value at all. Even this air, this bird of her. I've tried using it before, and it betrayed me. So I will never, I will never let it. Let it be again. What's, what's the deal with this room? Okay. I was like, what's the deal with this room? This guy eventually releases the uh, the block that's uh, stopping us from killing this guy. I see it now. I see it. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting you. Also, as well, another thing that is difficult is we can't fucking see when we're firing at an enemy. It does make it a little more difficult. The knockback especially is bad, though. Can you get out of being invincible, please? Thank you. Just, I, I couldn't even see that guy. <laughs> and you gave me fucking peach creep? Are you kidding me? I put in that effort and you give me goddamn peach creep? Okay, this is why I need to be careful. But the good thing is, from our uh, from our bag of crafting, we might be able to get extra HP through HP giving items. That's rather nice when that happens on occasion. Kind of wish I had the extra luck I had before, though, to get more room drops. That would make it us be able to create more items. What's the deal with this room? Whoa, the lag, what the hell? What's going on? Ah, the deal with that room was, as always is with those guys, pointless waiting. Continuum, oh, plus three range. Oh my goodness. Oh, the rubber cement plus this is not good. But these do last a lot longer now, so I will I will take that. They last a lot, lot longer. Wow. Who ever thunk? Who'd have ever thought a plus three range would be so good? GB bug I don't think we need. Thank you. Seems like we're going the right way, at least here. Yeah, I think having this extra range is very nice. The, the, the rubber cement shots are actually bouncing around the room for significantly longer. God damn the lag. God damn the lag. Oh my god, they're bouncing for like ever. <laughs> Stay in the air for so long. All we need now is like a herming. In fact, any kind of herming, it'd be amazing. Right, boss time. The teeth shots is not the way game. I don't know where we spawned some normal tears from there. I'm not sure, quite sure where they came from. Just, just unintelligible. I don't know what's going on right now. And we got the super bouncy mega shots, which I don't understand either. This is epilepsy inducing right now. We lost a burn heart. Look at the teeth shots again. Fuck off with the teeth shots. 
Give me the lasers. You know I want the lasers. All I've ever wanted. Right. Maybe I'll trade pride pin if I get something good enough here. All of this is pants. All of this is real bad. I guess I'll keep trying to solve this Rubik's Cube. Yeah, be a bit more careful with my health. I do have an out. There is um, there is Nord Leaf there, so if I if I get in a really rough spot... Hey, I, re I managed to do it. Nice one. Uh, if I get in a really rough spot, I could take Nord Leaf, but I'm going to throw all that away and get go for this. Okay. All not so great. All not so great. I think I keep more there to keep re-rolling them, to be honest. Extra red heart there, lovely. Just gotta be patient now. I don't know how some enemies survive some of the onslaughts I put them through. How, how are you alive? Back once again, back once again, back once again to reroll. Um, somehow rerolled into this crowdfunder again. Still nothing there that I'd like to take, really. Needs to be a lot better than that for me to want to take it. We get a good a good amount of tries for re-rolling that room. Basically, things I want to take are things are going to give me a lot of HP or a lot of damage. That's what I'm looking for. Weapon skills. Oh, the fires, dude! I got hit again by it. I fucking hate this room. Wow, this room's disgusting in a major way. Oh, dude, I'm definitely getting hit in this room. This room is horrible. Are you actually kidding me? I have to, like, get through all of this without taking damage? How? Okay, I managed to get the buttons at least. That was a miracle that I survived that without taking any damage. Absolute miracle. Oh, God, the fucking lag, man. Trisagion, why you like this? Right, in here we get Flip. We got Inner Child, which is pretty good for a revive. Um, Hypno Ring is pretty good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eternal Bombs is amazing. We'll take Eternal Bombs. Um, we'll take it for... Honestly, I might try taking it for Trisagion at this, at this rate. Trisagion's just annoying. It's just laggy and annoying. But golden bombs with that bomb item, the boss has n doesn't stand a chance. What, what's, what's, what's going on in this room? Why is there so many farts? Why is there so many farts? <laughs> Extra red heart there, lovely. Gotta love taking two hits like that. That was very stupid of me. I want to get one more reroll under my belt. Yeah, I think getting rid of Trisagium was the right idea, to be honest. I don't think it was all that necessary. I don't think it was really helping that much. We're dead. Right. Another reroll to see what we get. We get Euthanasia, which could be good. Well, we'll definitely take Mystery Meat now, because that's just a HP up for now. Do what aura we get with Purity. Not a good aura. I think I still want to go for more rerolls, just in case. 
just in case. Because we could get more HP. Like I said, we might not even need it, but why not just in case? Good, good, Mr. Roly Poly. The teeth, man. So broken. Just, just, just let the room play out now. Extra hearts in that room is good. Alright, one more, and we can do another reroll. It's been a while since I've had an over an hour run. It's been a while. Uh, we've we've got, yeah, we're gonna have to debug. We had a a bugged enemy there that kept respawning. That does happen every now and again with those um with those shots. Right. Basically, it's supposed to devolve them, but it devolves them into themselves. Um, compound fracture could be interesting. Maybe take that over Pride Pin at this point. Let's see how this goes. And we got a HP up there as well. Obviously, we'll be taking that. Right, let's just, just, just go do one room with this and see how it pans out. I think we've got enough health now. It's definitely laggy. But damage is high. Is it as laggy as Pride Pin? Probably not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Pride Pin. Oh wait, this gives us range. <laughs> I'm gonna take this because it gives us range. Okay. I'm, 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 I don't know why I'm even fretting. I'm gonna be using pretty much exclusively bombs here anyways. Okay, no I'm not. <laughs> I thought that was gonna do insane damage. It did not at all. I thought those eternal bombs would be amazing. So they go through boss armor, but didn't really do much to him, to him at all. It does a good amount, but not as much as I was hoping. Kind of regret taking uh, Compound Fracture now, because this is this is just so laggy. It's kind of hard to dodge. But we're killing quickly. I mean, I don't even know what hit me then. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I, I just can't dodge. I, 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 like, actually can't dodge. Yeah, I'm getting... This guy fires burn shots as well, so I can't even fucking see them. Damn it. I'm really worried, actually. <laughs> like, I just can't dodge stuff. Okay, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. That was sketchy, though. That was sketchy. <laughs> right, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Yet another win on the streak. Beautiful stuff. And yes, I will see you guys in the next one.